recently, and uh, you know, so I've just got to snap this picture. This is a moment to remember. So everybody smile. Thank you. Well, uh, nothing could be more meaningful to me than to have something where you're recognized in the, in the aspect of social justice and uh, doing right by kids. I guess for 12 years, what's <clears throat> really kept me at the table is to get kids who have been trapped in lousy schools to have an opportunity like we're bringing to them. So I'm deeply appreciative of this honor. I can't help but uh, mention some other people that I think, as Mark said, uh, Susan certainly mixed the mortar and laid a, a lot of those bricks, but Mark, uh, you and Bob Perlman, if Bob were here, I think we'd all give him a standing ovation <clears throat> as well. But uh, it's really, uh, as all organizations do, they need to grow and transition and develop leadership that is up to the challenge at the time. Um, organizations are no different than muscles. You know, we can work a muscle and then we need to let it rest or we need a, a different kind of exercise. And, uh, uh, and that was the case with New Tech. And we were growing rapidly and we needed a different kind of leadership and and in that we get we really got uh, a superb CEO and Lydia uh, Dobbins and Lydia I think what we're seeing here is uh, is uh, responsive to the great leadership you're you're providing this organization and so we're so proud of of you and your team and the whole new tech team and when I say Lydia I'm really speaking of the team that she's put together so thank you to everybody on the new tech team is providing that, that day in and day out lifting of uh, what needs to be done so i also want to recognize um, as uh, i was just saying organizations need leadership for new times and new challenges and uh, the knowledge works board and i began talking about a transition process a couple of years ago and and uh, this July the 1st, uh, Brian Ross was named CEO of KnowledgeWorks Foundation, and I just really want to publicly say how terrific I think uh, this is for KnowledgeWorks, for the New Tech Network, and, uh, and for the country, because Brian shares the belief and the passion that we all have in this room. So Brian, will you join me in welcoming Brian to this role, too? Well, over the past few weeks, Lydia has been indicating this room was going to be bigger and fuller than uh, any of us thought, uh, about a thousand passionate leaders, and uh, it's something that you wish everybody who had had a sense about the importance of the New Tech Network and the American education scene could see. So somehow we've got to capture uh, some of these highlights and, and share those around the country. But I think what it does demonstrate is that New tech as a concept for secondary education, or maybe even in a bigger sense, that ki all kids can be learners um, is more than a blip, or more than an experiment, or more than a boutique approach. And, uh, and you all are demonstrating this, and we're gonna be someday calling you the giants, and we're gonna be a lot of people standing on your shoulders to bring this concept of, of, of a belief that all kids have learn, are, are wired to learn, they're just wired differently, and we're gonna find out how to make that happen. So you are the giants, and I applaud all of you for believing in this and making it real. I think um, that we can prove that transforming teaching and learning in in the community by community is indeed the way to go in this country, that we can have federal policies, we can have state policies, and uh, while they uh, provide resources and uh, structure, uh, it's what really happens in a community that is where uh, the real change needs to take place, and that's what you all are doing. Um, 
It was about two and a half years ago that I traveled to Indiana uh, for a meeting with Governor Mitch Daniels and uh, Dave Dressler was there. And I also really should mention Dave and Nancy Sutton because I think of them also as being really having their hands in the bricks and mortar um, at the very beginning, so thank you. But uh, we, I went over to Indiana to meet with Governor Mitch Daniels because he said New Tech, uh, he was gonna make Indiana the New Tech state. I think uh, Michigan may be now close on his heels, but um, we wanted to use that opportunity for a governor who really got it. I mean, he really gets what New Tech is about. and. Uh, uh, use that opportunity to announce that KnowledgeWorks and, and New Tech were going to join forces and we were going to employ our capital to help New Tech become what it's now becoming. And we did that in Indiana because of the, the commitment of the state and, um, and kind of wiping away a lot of structures and impediments to progress and making sure that communities that really wanted to pursue the New Tech model would have the ability to do so. And uh, it was really an appropriate place. But uh, look what has happened in, in these two and a half years. It just proves that there was this latent desire to really move in this direction and we just needed to unleash it. So I also really do wanna thank Governor Daniels for uh, his um, belief in what we all are doing and putting a whole state behind that effort. It, it was important nationally that we had a governor willing to step up and make a statement like that. Um, I think we also made that decision about new tech because uh, moving to what education in this country needs to become through the old system, what I call the world of schooling, is just too slow. It, it isn't a really about um, what is important that respects every kid as a learner. It's it's not gonna get us there fast enough. And um, we believed in what we saw in new tech indeed was the path to that kind of progress and change. It is, exemplifies what we like to call the world of learning. And, and I think that we've been so grateful that it wasn't just a sense and a vision we had, but that we could open a door and there were literally thousands ready to go through it. As Lydia said, in the last couple of years now, we've gone uh, well from the days that Mark mentioned uh, uh, when Susan was here to uh, from 12 to 22 or three schools. And now this year we're adding 30 schools in one year and we'll have a network of about 90 schools. And I, I think it's important to say that we're not doing this to say that uh, what we'll become as a network bigger than KIPP, which we will. Um, that's not the point. Um, the point is that we're doing this because it's about the future of this country. I mean, that's a metaphor and it gets cliched and people, I think you get a little bit tired of hearing it, but we all know that uh, we're dangerously close to losing the middle class in this country. And uh, uh, if we don't give kids skills that make them able to take risks and be entrepreneurs and add value at many different levels in the American society that uh, we do turn into an oligarchy and have a few people telling everybody else what to do and where the power is. And this is where that can be stopped why we produce the talent to make sure that we've got a vibrant democracy in our country. So uh, we're here in Michigan because uh, this is a great place to be. It's a lot cooler than almost every other part of the country. And uh, we're opening five new schools. And where are Michigan folks? And we uh, hear a shout out from you. Well, that is great, but now let's get to, and we thank you, and we, we're gonna see a lot more. Um, so now to the kind of the main point of, of this hour. As Lydia said, uh, we're to honor a new tech school that has shown major achievements in closing the gap for underserved kids, and that has shown a lot of fidelity to the new tech model, and, and really strives to make sure that our kids 
graduate and succeed in post-secondary and, and become career ready and ready for life. Um, this is the work of all of you, but uh, there is one school that I do want to single out that, that faces these challenges day in and day out at a pretty profound level. It's a school where graduation was, was not an option for most kids, much less college acceptance. It's a community. Perhaps it's fitting that, that we honor this school, which is located in downtown Indianapolis, because as I mentioned uh, two and a half years ago, I was in downtown Indianapolis meeting with Governor Daniels to kind of announce to the country that we were gonna put our muscle behind the New Tech Network. So thanks to the amazing dedication and belief that all kids are learners, I would like to present the New Tech Arsenal High School uh, with the first ever Chad P. Wick Award for Social Justice. And here to accept the award is Scott DeFries. And Scott, not only is this a nice award uh, that is something that you can cherish, but uh, there is also, uh, we're gonna uh, waive your school's annual network continuation fees for the next year. And thanks uh, to Toshiba, Toshiba wanted to be part of this and are generate, generously donating a Portage laptop computer valued at $1,400 to Scott personally. Yeah. So congratulations, Scott, and I hope you'll share a few more. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to say thanks to the network <coughs> and to Knowledge Works and for all the support that they've given us. Uh, it's been a long road over the last four years, uh, soon to be five. Uh, it is kind of amazing to look out over this room. And I want to thank all of the coaches that spent so much time with us and help my teachers and the staff that I have uh, become the crew that they are. Those of you who've, <coughs> excuse me, those of you who visited my school know um, how outstanding they are. And that's really the folks that earned this award. And I really appreciate everything that they've done and all the support that you've given me. Um, it's a passion of mine, a lot of you know it. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. <laughs> 